you will never be able to do much i'm anointed i'm born again what is this 10 member barrier that can never move to 100 never move to 500 never move to 1000 you're thinking bless a man whose mind has not been delivered you only would you threw money in a basket it would have been better to go and eat with it something must happen in your life that would destroy it this is what we see all around our cities no favor no open door no grace no help i came in this conference to set you free if you are really tired of where you are listen the key is not scholarship the key is not just business value is only useful when deliverance has happened did you hear what i said if you like have the greatest whatever it is welcome to chat now channel we are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in god's presence the bible says in psalm 119 verses 130 the entrance of thy word is that light as you listen and watch may you experience the transformative power of god's life individuals how they keep individuals limited how they keep lives and destinies limited you must pay attention to this hallelujah now jesus was teaching us something about demons he casted a demon from a man listen carefully and then he used the opportunity to start doing a little lecture on the activity of demons you have to listen and he said when a demon leaves a man certain things start happening to that demons he, he left the man alone and was talking about the demons he said that demons are restless until they find habitable environments that's the first thing jesus began to teach us that the moment a demon leaves a body and is only in the spirit form it becomes restless now that's not a law that is unique to demons alone are we together any spirit is restless until it finds a home including the holy spirit listen there is a law it's called the law of territory you must assume the the components of a territory to be able to coexist in other words if you are in the sea you must be able to have all the build up organs that a fish has to dwell well a man cannot jump on his own and live in the sea for a long time because we are not equipped for that territory that ha that habitat is not for us are we together now now when god made earth he designed earth in such a way that you must possess a body now that body does not have to be made in the image and the likeness of god let it just be a material vessel it can authorize you to live on the earth are we together now now the bible talks about the disembodied spirits demons alongside other fallen angels and part of their punishment even before the eternal judgment is that they roam around without bodies and from what jesus taught us it means that they are consistently restless are we together because there is no legal authorization for them to function in any environment they cannot when the time came for jesus to come to the earth he had to submit himself to have a body we named that body jesus the spirit that was in that body was not jesus that spirit was the word jesus was a name that they gave that spirit to help him function on earth is that true that's why the key is not just mentioning j-e-s-u-s -S. there are people on earth that have that name are you getting what i'm saying now so jesus had to subscribe to a body on earth today he still functions with a body called the body of christ what we call the church without a body no spirit can function are we together it is one of the laws of the supernatural everything that must come into the earth realm must have a body equivalent to find expression if god wants to speak to you there are usually five elements of the supernatural that he communicates with number one is sound the wind 
sound. The word of God comes through air, the power of the air to reach you. Is that true? Number two, light, illumination. Number three, water. Water is a mysterious element of the spirit. Number four, the earth itself. The earth itself. Number five, fire. All the activities of the supernatural revolve around these five elements. So let's get back to our teaching. So Jesus says, when demons are casted out of a man, they start moving from region to region, dry regions, looking for a body and not finding that body. They return back to the victim. And this is what the demon says. Let me go back to my house. Who is he calling his house? The man who is supposed to be already free. In other words, the demon is saying, I've not given up. There was a formation in that house that made that man conducive for the demon spirit. And when the demon goes back and sees the house swept and kept, but still within that spiritual formation, the demon says, it is still my house. Please listen carefully. Now, when you study occultism, don't study it. But when you understand anything about occultism, many of you who have seen people who were in the occult will tell you when they are leaving their body they have to return in the same position is that true if they lay down on top and left and you turn them they will be roaming around the room and never be able to enter again it's a law because that formation is the mold that authorizes them to leave they must return back that's why they invoke those things alone so that there is no man to be able to turn them. There are people who have died not because it was their time. They were turned as a sign of judgment. And they roamed around. There is a number of hours allocated where the spirit of man can dissociate from his body. If it does not return, it cannot return again. Are we together? Are you learning this now? Now when you go to a native doctor and you tell him i want to get a charm do you know what he does to you he invokes through div divination and occultic powers he concocts a charm now that charm looks like nonsense to you in the physical but that charm you see is a house he's building based on the solution you want to be provided the spirit that is coming to assist you will give his requirement on the kind of house that should be built so he will say use the head of a goat open it and put water or put whatever you will hold rubbish in your hand that spirit you see was somewhere the spirit cannot live until they reproduce his current habitat so that when he comes and dwells in that charm, it will be the same thing as his house. Are you getting what I'm saying? A spirit cannot dwell in a region whose formation is not the same as where it was living. The body that was prepared for the spirit of the world to come and dwell was prepared in the similitude of the throne room of heaven. That's why the spirit of Jesus could live comfortably in that body. When the Holy Spirit came into Jesus, it was the same thing as him being in heaven. Because the formation of that body was conducive for his habitation. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Hmm. So if you drop the charm in the house, that charm can call the demon spirit that will cause whatever destruction to come and he will use that charm as small as it is like his house so the demon does not know the difference of being in your house or being where it left because you have created a physical similitude are we together now that demon spirit remains there until there is a change a change in formation now watch this your mentality what you call your mindset your mindset is not just a gate it's not just a door 
is a house in the realm of the spirit your perception creates a formation in the realm of the spirit that formation can attract the spirit of god that formation can attract demon spirits are we together now every man are we understanding are we following this morning now spirits do not come and find expression in people and become strongholds and possess people just like that there is something called the law of consistency you attract spirits by keeping a formation in that position for a long time let me give you an instance if i steal this brother's viral it's not necessarily a demon that made it still i have my human will are we together the moment i keep stealing that viral my mindset is creating a habitation for the spirit of theft the spirit of theft finds out that something on earth is attracting it and when it comes my consistency keeps attracting it one day this guy will go to steal and know something entered him from that day he can't stop again now he is no longer a thief there is the spirit in him you no longer can advise him to stop stealing even if the biro is missing the spirit will tell him where it is and he will find it and pick it are we together are you getting how this thing works so if i go and sleep with a lady day one it's not necessarily the spirit of lust you just allowed your flesh to take over you but when you do it the second time the spirit of lust wherever it is there is that gravitational pull because that act of consistency is creating a portal a doorway there is a formation and that spirit starts being drawn to the environment where consistency is one day you will find out that that spirit has entered you and whether you are married or not you can't stop again now the first time you go to pray you may not have the spirit of prayer and supplication you just go and you are just praying and then you do it day two day three and a dimension of the holy spirit starts being pulled there is a formation created for that dimension of him and the spirit of god starts searching for the environment where that consistent action is and one day you go to pray as usual one one hour and it turns to five hours that day the spirit of prayer and supplication entered you you can't stop again you see that the realm of the spirit responds it hardly initiates men initiate is god teaching us this so your mindset and your understanding let me tell you by the time the average person gets to 10 years in nigeria our consistency in mediocrity and wrong thinking have been consistent a lot to enough to attract demons at age 10 anybody in nigeria has qualified for a demon spirit coming to partner with his mindset because you have been too consistent and that's why we grow with that wrong conditioning that conditioning that limits us are we together now now the danger of that is that it has become a stronghold no longer a mindset what is a stronghold a stronghold is a mindset that has been fortified by the presence of demon spirits to ensure that the victim continues thinking in that paradigm it is that state that makes the word of god of none effect are we together now yes when a mindset becomes a stronghold then a spirit has come a poverty mindset can become a poverty stronghold now you can give that person ten thousand naira when he holds it that spirit must make him waste it it has nothing to do with being a good or bad person he must waste it there is an understanding that a man has and it becomes a stronghold even if he marries the greatest angel in the world he must beat and humiliate her ask the man why are you doing it he says i don't know we are not only victims of our mindsets our mindsets have been enforced by the presence of demon spirits our mindsets have become houses now listen listen 
you can be born again that thing will not go just by default don't ever allow anybody to deceive you that's not demon possession they are still comfortable latching upon your soul realm because your mindset creates a habitation for them if that deliverance does not happen forget about your possession that's why the bible says upon mount zion two things happen number one deliverance deliverance is not just casting a devil and, cu and coughing out no deliverance is a system where the word of god is systematically used to disengage those demons first from that gateway then the second dimension of the of deliverance is a reconfiguration so that they no longer it no longer can be a habitation conducive for them one of the greatest mistakes as people try to cast out demons from people is they do not know that the demon can only lie down there because the house was formed in a particular pattern so if the demon leaves and the house is not reconfigured recalibrated that demon must return not will return must return this is the teachings of jesus himself and he says he will return in such a way that he will gather seven others greater and worse than himself i have watched people and i have seen that they are victims of not just wrong thinkings some of our lovely parents who love us so much you look at them and you know that there are spirits sitting on their mindset some of our government officials you know that there are spirits that keep them thinking that way when a mindset has become a stronghold any physical resource that comes is useless the mindset has been captured remember our teaching yesterday you don't hold things with your hands you hold them with your mind you don't lose things by them leaving your hand you lose things by them leaving your mind anything that left your hand and was still in your mind is coming back it only went strolling it must come back you have captured my heart consumed my heart with your love you have captured my heart consumed my heart with your love hey, you have captured my heart consumed listen you can be born again for many years many years and still be a victim of this you will never be able to do much i'm anointed i'm born again what is this 10 member barrier that can never move to 100 never move to 500 never move to 1000 you're thinking bless a man whose mind has not been delivered you only would you threw money in a basket it would have been better to go and eat with it something must happen in your life that would destroy it this is what we see all around our cities no favor no open door no grace no help i came in this conference to set you free if you are really tired of where you are listen the key is not scholarship the key is not just business value is only useful when deliverance has happened did you hear what i said if you like have the greatest whatever it is when that deliverance has not happened to you the nation of israel were delivered physically in one day they left but for 40 years they couldn't enter the promised land and every enemy that came in that from in that 40 years they defeated them but they still could not enter how can you be defeating enemies and still not enter your rest it is possible that your life can be a life of fight forever and you will never rest because it takes understanding to enter the seventh day it's not the passage of time that brings you there uh -uh. God counted days not just after morning and evening it counted days when specific things were done you can enter your seventh day in one week you can enter your seventh day in five years 
you can be on day three throughout your lifetime it's not the passage of time that graduates you it is understanding that moves you from one day to the other we believe you were blessed by the message you just watched let us know what stood out to you in the comment section you can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos so more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages we celebrate you and see you in our next video thank you